Hello, hello, hello. It is Eliatana, and I am back to play some Sims. Now, this is my third attempt at this recording, so hope it goes well. Anyways, I had a problem during my original video <laughs> where I had such a great episode, and then I recorded it, and there was no audio. The mic didn't pick anything up. So that sucks. So this is my way to deal with it. I am talking over top. I am commenting on the video. I didn't want to lose that progress we made because it was so good. We had so much fun and I'm excited for you to see it anyways, just with my commentary about a week later. Now, because <laughs> I've been having issues with my audio and video recording stuff and, and being stored in places where it won't like, you know, ruin my life. Um, like, you know, I have to do a voiceover for a pretty long video like this and it only records, you know, a quarter of it. Yeah, so anyway, that's what I'm dealing with. So the goal here is to get Maya and Chelsea together. It's 9 a.m. They just got back from the jungle. They're both exhausted, but they need to eat. So I'm getting them their food. They're, they're getting, you know, a little bit of fun and socialization. And then they're going to go to sleep for a little while and spend some time chilling today because they've had a very busy couple of days in the jungle. They've gone to the temple and stuff. Also, look at the floating candles. That's what I was pointing out. <laughs> um, love that this uh, light doesn't just stay there. I feel like it should. You know, I feel like lights should be able to stay. Like, I, I just, I don't know. I don't agree with that. But anyways, so these two are best friends, by the way. This is the besties Let's Play, and they're still not actual best friends in the game. So I'm going to do that <laughs> because I want them to be actual best friends so that besties is credible. <laughs> You know? Oh, well, first they're going to pass out because of course they're going to pass out. You know, it's really frustrating sometimes. Um, by the way, I played this with no mods in, so that's why I couldn't do anything about them falling asleep. <laughs> Yay, they're best friends! That's exciting. So that's good. At least we have that. Now they can go to sleep and chill. Well, what the hell? Chelsea literally got in bed and then got out of bed to pass out. Like, why? Come on now. It doesn't make sense sometimes. <laughs> and I don't know why they're automatically napping. I think it's because it's like the daytime. So it's like an automatically nap instead of sleep. But I feel it should be based on like the energy level. If the bar is low, sleep should be automatic instead of nap. Especially because they also go and just like make coffee instead of sleeping. So I'd rather do that. Anyways, so checking the calendar here. We only have three main days of vacation quite a lot to do though in those three days so let's see what we can do today once we wake up um but i think i was planning on doing a little bit more exploration today in in like the town area you know um we've been in the jungle for a while and they're already tired and stuff so i'm just going to give them a little bit of time because you know it's hard sometimes <laughs> They need a day they need a day off. So we're gonna go and explore this like archaeological museum um, because I've never been here before and I didn't realize it existed and I think it's a really cool little feature for this uh, pack considering their archaeology archaeology skill. Because yeah, I was trying to figure out like where would you go to like practice archaeology, but there was this museum, so makes sense. But anyway, I'm just looking around. There's like a little pool and everything. I don't know if you can actually swim in that. Didn't try, but um, you know, I'm sure if you could, Sims would. But I'm going to get Chelsea to just ex excavate a couple of things. And then um, Maya's been our like resident gardener. <clears throat> Maya's been like our resident gardener. She's been getting like the avocados and like all of that stuff. And making sure that we have food available, but um, Chelsea also needs to get some food for herself, you know, just to fix that up. But um, I don't really know. She's very upset. So I thought maybe taking a selfie or taking a picture would make her fun go up. Um, I, I don't think I was right. I don't think taking pictures, for some reason, taking pictures doesn't do as much for your fun as I feel like it should, you know? She's playing a game on her phone right now to make her feel better because nothing else does. So, I mean, is that really the trade-off we want? I don't know. Anyway, but this little, like, area where, like, the museum actually is is really cute. They have all these, air, um, little, like, 
uh, sculptures and stuff for you to look at and explore and view. And usually a lot of locals hang out here, so you can ask questions about like the jungle and stuff. Um, because that's always good to know and learning more about Selva Dorada's cultures um, it's always fun but I think now that we're here we do have that is a really nice fountain I would like to point that out we do have a paint easel here so might as well get Maya to paint something since I don't think painting's fun either for her but we're gonna try uh, it's, Chelsea's really busy with the archaeology today so she's kind of you know doing that so we got to give Maya something to do here um, that's a little bit more than just gardening some of the trees that are around. But you know. So they do have like a pop-up archaeology archaeology table here, which is good for us because there is like some stuff we need to do and uncover. But I also have my own in my inventory, so oh, what a masterpiece, Maya. Look at you go. Just blobs of black paint all over there. She hasn't even gotten like a shape and going, geez. What can I say? So, um, who can we talk to? Who's here? Oh, Miguel is here. Hey, Miguel. Let's chat, chat with Miguel and see how he's doing. Um, you know, maybe he can tell us more about culture. Uh, I should ask about antidotes for poison, though, because, like, <laughs> stuff is probably going to happen when we get back in the jungle. <laughs> Let's be real. This poor girl, it takes so long to excavate. <laughs> It really does. And she's the one who's doing it. So like Maya doesn't do it at all. So Maya just gets to have fun and like socialize with people. And poor Chelsea's just like grinding away. <laughs> I think also how many um, levels are there to the archaeological skill, archaeology skill? Um, because I think she hits level five or four, which is pretty sweet. I'm hoping it's level five is the maximum because I don't really want to go far. I want, I don't want to have to go to 10. That's a lot. But like knowing my luck, you do have to go to 10. <laughs> oh, well, we're talking to Miguel right now. So, I mean, obviously he's cool, you know? Anyway, so Maya's just hanging out at the computer now. So that's good. She can get some fun up at the computer because she was very sad before. Um, but at least it's fun for Chelsea to excavate. It's just not socially acceptable. <laughs> She's very sad. So she needs to talk to people. <laughs> so when she uncovers the ar artifacts, I'm kind of thinking we might go and do like a cantina bar night um, because again, she, Chelsea needs to socialize. Maya might as well socialize too, um, but they can, you know, get some food, get some drinks, hang out um, in that little downtown court sort of area um, and maybe try some of the like local food as well. So lots of options of things to do today. Uh, so it's not all the jungle and that's why I kind of like this about this pack is like there is quite a lot to this game pack um, Like you get this beautiful world uh, Granted you can't live in it, but you can do rentals at least um, It's a lovely uh, place to look um, And then you have the archaeology skill you have all of that aspect you can go and do the cantina And then you can do the culture stuff and so there's there's a lot of stuff to explore so I appreciate that like it I've been having a lot of fun so far I haven't really played like too too much of this actual pack in the past um, until this series really um, I really only just went on vacation there just for funsy I, I tried going to the jungle but I didn't actually get into the temple even like I didn't even get that far because I got to the place where there's pretty place for pictures and I stopped you know <laughs> typical <laughs> So the girls are just going to go have a little bathroom break before we run over to the cantina. Um, I want to load it up there so that like if we have to go get drinks or anything, we can like deal with that. But um, yeah, super exciting. I'm like really liking this world, like I said. Um, you know, this little courtyard area where we're going to be hanging out mostly. But there's also like there was an area where there was like gardening. So that's exciting. I tried ordering food a couple of times here at the bar and it just glitched and didn't work. Um, and I think it was just like a sign from the game telling me, why the hell are you ordering food from this bar? Go outside and order the local food outside, which is what I eventually will do. But the best part about the bar is really just watching everybody dance because like the, the the Sims that dance in there always have the best moves, you know, some of them are actually really good. Like, Luciano I know is good. I've seen him groove. Um, and like, 
there's really, <laughs> it's always entertaining. Let's just put it that way. So anyway, we're going to get the food outside because it's actually going to work for me. Um, and why not? So we'll try a couple of different dishes. I'm trying to see if I can like make it a little bit more exciting for poor Chelsea here. She's very sad right now. She's homesick. They've been away for like five days. Like I just like took them right on a vacation. They don't like, they, nope, they don't get to go home. But to be fair, I think that there might only be one episode or two left eventually. I mean, they're going to go home soon. I, I, I don't think I'm going to necessarily extend the vacation past the time, um, depending on how it goes the rest of the jungle time. But if I get through and stuff, I mean, there's no, really no reason um, to stay. I might as well go back home and then come back and have another vacation, you know, start all over again. But the girls, you know, they're having fun so far. And they have this aspiration here to view the statue of Madre Cosecha. So I was looking around, I'm like, where the heck is this statue? Um, you know, obviously it should be clickable. So I'm like going to like all these like outside places in the jungle and crap and like looking around and like, I love the random lamp, like in the middle of the forest. Really appreciate that. But yeah, look at all that gardening stuff. It's so cool up there. I hate that it's all debug, but it's beautiful. And then, um, yeah, I realized that, wait a second, um, I'm pretty positive that the statue is like somewhere near the bar, which is what it says. Um, it's probably like right outside the bar. Um, yeah, it was right in front of my nose the whole time. Right there, yeah, yeah. So I didn't show respect, I viewed together. So that, hmm, hmm, that might come back to haunt me, for not view, not showing respect and just viewing. I hope not, <laughs> I hope we're okay. Oh, she's getting attacked by some sort of bugs while she's eating, and that makes sense. Like, that's typical, you know? That's very typical. But the girls have had a very long day and it's already midnight. They're already tired again. So I think I'm going to start getting them like on their way back to the lot soon to go to sleep um, because we're going to have a nice important day tomorrow as well where we're going to be pretty busy, I think, because I think we're going to try to explore the jungle more. In the aspiration, it says something about finding like side paths. So we're gonna look around for those, the ones that we can do, because I know there's certain ones we can't do in this trip, but we'll see. We'll see how it ends up going. And um, yeah, I mean, I'm just getting them a little bit higher social because Chelsea's still not very socialized. Um, but you know, Maya picked up some extra supplies and everything. So I think they'll be good. Did they just wave goodbye to each other and then walk home together? Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yep. <laughs> All right, so we're here. We're back at the rental and we really need showers and sleep. So let's go and do all of that stuff and get them ready to go. Because, you know, they've had a long day. It was a little change of pace from the jungle adventure they've been having. But we're going to have a different type of adventure tomorrow when we go back into the jungle. So let's sleep and see. Okay, so clean out spoiled food. Ew. Why is that still in there? And, um, you know, Maya has not made any food before. So I'm just going to get her to do that because, yeah. Why was she bowing to no one. Did you see that? <laughs> wow, that was weird. Okay. So Maya's never cooked before, so she's going to make some fruit salad for everybody. Hopefully it tastes okay. Could you imagine like you never cooked in your entire adult life, so your first thing you cook is fruit salad? To be fair, I think my my first like meal as an adult was like butter noodles <laughs> or something. I mean, it's a lot better than fruit salad, but it's still butter noodles, so I don't know. Yeah, Chelsea's just like very depressed and very homesick. I don't think Maya is as homesick as Chelsea is. Oh, she is. She's sad though because Chelsea's sad, really. Like she's just, she's not super, I feel like she's not as homesick as people think. But we need to get uh, Chelsea's fun up and everybody ready to go to the jungle and have 
a great day. So we're gonna get Maya walking because it takes us a while to get there as we know. So let's get her over to the gate and get us started on today's adventure. It's noon already, so we should probably get going. Um, I do want to end up in the temple like at night because I think it's really fun at night to be there. Um, hopefully Tibia makes an appearance again. She's my icon, but you know, if not, it's okay. Chelsea, you need to change. <laughs> like, it's a really sweet bathing suit, but you really need to change. She's got such cute outfits. I did a good job with her. Not to, not to toot my own horn or anything. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So yeah, I got um Chelsea to get some harvestables too, so she's not you know useless. She's got some food at least. Um, but there you go. We do have a side path here that she can work on, to clearing out. And I know that like when we talked to the locals, they talked about like a couple of places or something about like a plane crash. So we'll see if this path we're going to has you know something fun there oh my god I told her to take a selfie and this is what I get she is like so depressed you're in the jungle have fun you're on vacation <laughs> calm down I mean to be fair being in the jungle can be scary very scary all right let's travel on through so where did you end up Chelsea let's let's see she has to go through this whole situation oh shoot there's a sim that's stuck okay well we're gonna grab them and run right we're gonna we're gonna try to help them I'm not just gonna leave them <laughs> all right she made it oh but she's getting chased by a bunch of bees that's really great <laughs> lovely <laughs> All right, well, this is fun. Look at this. We've got, oh yeah, it is the crash site for the plane. We've got some stuff to excavate. There's a a treasure chest. Why the heck is there a treasure chest here? It's so strange. All right, so we're here. Okay, wait, no, wait, where are we? She didn't go. Did she go to the, uh, oh. Okay, this is confusing. How do you? get to where you need to be okay she's in the wrong spot this is very annoying I just want her to go be in the other place there we go we've made it finally she can look at things but there's also like a temple up here look at that with the trees wow look at that detail and yeah, I wish you could see my genuine reaction to this because I was like, wow, <laughs> literally. It looked so cool. And like the fact that you have the plane crash there too and stuff. Look at that bird's eye view. What? Look at this. Wow. You know, Sims team, you really did do a great job in this world. Uh, it really looks great. I love it. I want to live here, <laughs> but you won't let Sims live there. I mean, you could try. I, I don't know. I don't know. Just a thought. Okay. So Maya, how about we, we get this treasure chest going? Let's see what does she, what's she going to get from it. Hmm. Oh, some sort of light. Okay. Oh, 25 simoleons. Okay then. So really not much, but she found some items in her inventory, I guess. So... Oh, she got a spirit though. It looks like she's going to be getting a bonus every day. Oh, okay. But anyway, this place though, it is kind of cool the way that they've sort of put all the trees around and stuff and made it like a little like quaint place. And there's not too, too much to do up here, which is, I kind of like, you don't want it to be like too overwhelming, you know, but I do feel bad for Maya because she's just kind of hanging out, not really doing much. So maybe she doesn't have to be here, but, um, you know, Chelsea is, and they're here together as friends on vacation. So too bad. So let's take some pictures. 
Oh, yeah. You know what? Yeah, taking a picture of the plane crash. Because what if somebody doesn't believe you? And you're like, I ran into this, like, plane. And they're like, no. And you're like, here's a photo. You know, share photos. <laughs> you share that photo. Yeah. It's important, okay? <laughs> All right. So find an area off the path. Has Chelsea's done that, but we still need to do that for Maya. She needs to find her own path. Oh, that's really deep. Okay. So Maya, um, oh my goodness, look at this like sudden drop. That's a little scary. Okay. Well, Chelsea's just doing that last um, art artifact excavation there. And there's not really, we can't really click on the temple or do anything there. So I think Maya needs to be on her way soon. I'm gonna have to figure out what screenshot I'm gonna use for this one. I mean, uh, that one with the plane looks pretty cool to be honest. But who knows? Maybe we'll see another even cooler place where Maya's gonna find us. So we're here. Maya, let's get you a place to explore. Um, nothing around here. This is the really cool space where the waterfall is though, so that's always fun. I feel like we definitely need to do another layer, I think, in order to get to another path to clear, you know? She's busy. This are this takes a long time, but she does need to do the artifact from up there because she's not going to go back, so. Let's uh, see. Maybe we just need to get a little bit flirty from the waterfall and get happy from that because, you know. Okay. Come on, girl, you got this. I don't know why Chelsea or Maya is just refusing. She keeps wanting to get water. I don't really know why. Um, Chelsea, are you? Uh oh, she's getting attacked by something. Shit, Chelsea, are you okay? Oh, that's a spider. Okay, yep. I okay. You know what, girl? I get it. You don't. You don't have to finish that excavation. That's fine. Just run. Just run. I understand. I understand completely. Let's just go to the next level and we'll be able to find a path for Maya to clear. Yay, so we're near the temple now. So there's a couple of paths I know about in this area. So um, there's one on this side that's got like almost like a door, um, but I don't think we can touch that one. That one's this one over here. I don't think Maya can do anything. She needs to come back for another trip. So why don't we go with the one that we can touch there's actually a couple here that we can touch, but um, we'll we'll focus on that one. And then Chelsea's obviously gonna excavate because what else does Chelsea do but excavate? It does a little get a little bit repetitive, of course, but I feel like every Sims pack can get repetitive if you like literally do it all the time. You're supposed to do like little bits and pieces, right? It's like Strangerville was good in that way because it was like a story, right? You'd finish it and. You can kind of live normal life where you can restart it with another sim or do whatever, but it's like a progression. So, you know, you move through things and it's not all the exact same, at least. All right, Maya. Oh, shit. What's going on? Oh, she's getting attacked. But she has the flower. Look at that. It worked. The flower actually deterred them from going after her. That's great. I'm very happy for her. <laughs> Look at that. She drove the swarm away. So good. The real question is what's she going to face when she's exploring that uh, path? That's the real question. Yeah, so Chelsea can't touch that one, but we have another one on this side as well. So you know what, Chelsea might as well, oh, leave the treasure or retrieve it. Well, we're going to probably retrieve that treasure. <laughs> this is Maya we're talking about, so we're going to get that. Oh. I don't know. I, I don't think she's okay. Travel to the royal bath. The what? Again, I would love for you to see my genuine reaction to that because I was so excited. Um, we didn't go to the other path because Chelsea came with us to the bath. But I was like, wait, what bath? And yeah, apparently there's this extra lot up in the jungle here. The royal baths. And look at how cute, like beautiful this is here. Like, wow. Like, it's so pretty. And then you have, like, the views from over the top and the and the trees. Wow. Like, 
it really is amazing. And I never knew this existed. So like, wow, this was fun. Thank you, Sims team, for including this. Oh, look, there's another thing here we can go. So there is like quite a lot to do if you come back. Oh, I appreciate that. So yeah, I'm, I like that, that we're going to definitely have quite a lot to do when we, we do come back for a second vacation, which we will. We'll give them a couple of days to like work and like live a normal life at home in Windenburg and then they can come back to the jungle and, and go through life here. Um, but look how cool that is right at the top of the like jungle and you can see the temple over there. Wow. Another screenshot worthy place. Look at this. <gasps> okay. Well, I think I've picked my screenshot for this episode. So as fun as this is, we've been here long enough, I think. Um, it's really just, you know, a, a bath. I think you can jump in the pool there because that sim is, is doing that. So anyway, we're going to just head back um, to the temple because it is like 8 o'clock and it's nighttime and I want to get into the temple and finish it tonight because temple run at night is the best. So journey to the temple. Oh, heck yeah, we are with my bestie Chelsea. How exciting. Here we go. We're in the temple. Get those harvestables while we can and then excavate some stuff. I think we're gonna try our best to maybe start right in there. Um, one of the aspirations is examining these traps. So Wow, we can't go through there. We're going to get zapped. So let's uh, have Chelsea try to deal with this. Um, so we can't use that trap there. It doesn't work. But this one might. We have some question marks. So let's try it out and see what comes to fruition and what happens to us because we never know here. So we shouldn't step on that. Okay, let's not do that then. See, that's what I appreciate about the this game sometimes. The the the, the, the down the the thumbs up and thumbs down. It's very clear what you should and should not go towards. So that's kinda nice sometimes. Oh But when there's a question mark and she's passed out and you're like, okay. Oh no, and she's terrified. Oh, this poor girl. How's it gonna go this time? Better? Nope. She passed out face first. Wow. I feel so bad for her. Okay. Well, Maya, you have to step in because Chelsea is like, the poor girl is terrified and look at her. I feel so bad. It's okay. Maybe that can be a screenshot. I don't know. Poor girl. I feel really bad for her. She's so upset and scared. But they made it through. They made it to the next room. Maya did it. Why is here to save the day? Poor Chelsea's just like upset. Okay, so there's a fire one. So that's something. Let's show oh, it's a treasure chest. That'll make you feel better. That'll make you feel better. Come on, Chelsea. And then we're going to examine the trap and get ourselves through to the next room. She's just running terrified. I love that. The terrified running animation is probably one of my favorites. It's, it's, because it's a good one. It's a good. One. What can I say? Okay, then. So, I mean, we're moving along. And yeah, I didn't realize this, but if you have the archaeology or archaeology skill, like Chelsea, you can examine those uh, plates on the wall. Maya can't because she doesn't have it. So that's interesting. Um, but let's see if Maya can figure out something for us to do. She learned that there's some, we won't work. Okay, well, we figured out that the sun glyph would work. I mean, that makes sense. There's fire, right? Woo! Look at that. We did it. And Chelsea's just getting her skill up over here, looking at the, at the stuff on the walls. Um, but is she okay? Maya? Oh, no. Oh, shit. She is covered in spots. Oh, no. Was she poisoned? Oh, shit. Well, we're in a temple, so we don't really, <laughs> I, I can't really call anyone right now. We can't call for help. Yes, uh, level five of the archaeology skill. I cannot pronounce archaeology properly. Jesus. Okay, 
<laughs> so let's examine these last traps. I think this might be the last room that we have to get through, actually, which is kind of exciting, um, which is great because Chelsea's going to pee her pants and we can't help her. Um, so at least this way we're moving through things faster. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad for them. All right. And then we got a couple of more things we can look at on the wall, I guess, while we're waiting. Um, but this, uh, this room's very small, isn't it? Oh, I don't think Maya's... Yeah, it doesn't look like the trap that Maya was looking at work at all. Um, so we're gonna have to hope that Chelsea's works. I feel like it probably will. But, uh, yeah. Wish you could click on those skeletons. Be fun. And if we view them, they came to life. That'd be cute. Oh, wow, look at that. Chelsea to do the milestone. Okay, so fire or tree? I'm gonna go with fire, because that's fire over there. Or sun, I mean, because that's fire over there. And I think it's gonna work. She's just been offering a lot of stuff to gods and getting her way, so I think she's gonna be okay. And look at that. Oh my god, look, we're in the final room. Yes. Okay, Maya, this is all you. All you. Come on, girl, you got this. She's poisoned, covered in green spots, but she's here in the jungle, in the temple. She made it, and we're gonna get whatever is coming for us. Woo, 2,000 simoleons, okay. Well, I mean, that's kind of fun. Like, I'm glad that we were able to get some money out of it, but yeah, look at that, she did that. She got some stuff in her inventory as well, I think. Um, we have to assemble a mystical relic for Chelsea, so that's gonna be great. Maya is, for some reason, oh, gonna go back float? Okay, no. See, the, the automatic things for Sims to do in this temple, like why would, she's gonna go where? Back float in this nasty green water? Why? Like, no, come in here and take some photos. Uh, you gotta take photos of the temple so people believe you, remember? And then obviously, Chelsea peeing her, looking like she's gonna pee herself because she's your best friend. So, I mean, you're obviously gonna have that picture. <laughs> anyway. Look at that. So we made it all the way to the last temple room. Oh, look, is that Tibia? Tarsus. Um, no, I only want Tibia. Sorry. Thanks. Thanks though. No, now I'm upset. Okay, I'm. she needed to examine another thing, but now there's nothing for her to examine. Okay, so note to self. Make sure that everybody examines stuff before you get to the end of the temple because then you can't examine it anymore once you've gotten through. <laughs> Damn it. Oh well. So yeah, Chelsea's got her prize now from her chest. Uh, she's also got a lot of avocados to eat, which is really great. Um, but there is this um, crystal that she can create now, I think, because she has the relic. Um, so let's see. Oh, there's a relic there. Let's see. A death relic? Oh my. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe that's after. Maybe that's for another time. <laughs> after I save the game, maybe. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, Maya's gonna pee herself. This is really great, but we need to get home because she's also poisoned and I don't want her to die because she very well could. Um, we don't have an antidote on us. I think we have to call somebody, like call a local to get her an antidote. So I think the best bet we have for her is to get ourselves back to the rental unit, call up our friend Dylan from there, and hope that he brings us an antidote before she dies. Because that would suck if she died on vacation. It would. Alrighty, so um, Chelsea's almost done with her uh, excavating up there. But I think it's time for us to get going. She peed herself. She's not having a great time. She needs a shower. Um, she had a really rough night in the temple. So let's just get her home. Okay, we're here. So it's 7 a.m. Is it 7 a.m.? Yes. 7 a.m. Let's get Dylan over here and see if Dylan can help us. Because um, Maya is covered in spots. And I don't know how long she's going to last. Um, but in the meantime, Chelsea, get, get the shower. Oh, the fruit salad we left out. Yep, yeah, that was smart. Oops. And then uh, eat that fruit salad before it goes bad. 
Okay, Dylan. Come on, Dylan. Oh no, she's passing out. Where is Dylan? Did he show up? Woohoo. Oh my god, what the heck? He's just in my pool? Where do you come from? Oh my god. Okay, so ask for antidote was right there and I just didn't hit it. So let's just actually hit it this time. Because <laughs> we need the antidote or she will die. And the vacation ends in four hours. I mean, if we get home before she dies from poisoning, will it count? Oh! Maya was successfully able to overcome being poisoned and is feeling better. Oh, thank God. Oh my God, I thought she was going to die. I am so glad she's okay. Okay, so that's good. So we can get her shower, um, bathed up and uh, s and sleeping. Um, these girls have ha gone through the ringer in the last 24 sim hours. So we're going to give them some time to rest. I might give them an, I might extend the vacation another day just to give them some time to sleep and maybe hang out in the pool and stuff and take some selfies, have fun there. Um, and then they'll head back home in the next, uh, episode, I think, cause it's, it's going to be a long trip for them. I think they need to chill out. They've been there almost a week. They need to go back home because the sadness needs to stop. Uh, but Chelsea, she's starting to get to know Dylan a little bit as well here. She never really knew him before, so might as well, you know, chat him up a bit. She does need social skills, apparently. She's not, she's not talking to anybody. Um, but Maya, poor girl. Oh, she didn't make it to the bed. <laughs> Passed out on the floor. Hey, look at that. She made 49 simoleons. I think that's the ble the mystical blessing. Look at that. So she's got a royalty report for her mystical blessing. God. That's really funny, actually. Oh, great. So Dylan's just going to hang out in her room while she sleeps. That's not creepy at all. Okay, well, anyways. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I know it was an absolute gong show hot mess, but I promise you next time will be better. We will deal with the relics. We will deal with another day. But other than that, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.